Wireless headphones are a complicated topic to discuss in general because um, on one side you have the convenience of cordless access to music uh, and of course complementing features that enhance the audio experience. Um, however, if you're an audiophile, you'd say that headphones sound much better when they're wired directly to a device. I'm somewhere in between those two arguments because I'll be honest with you, I love listening to my DT990 premium headphones uh, while editing and if I'm traveling, uh, I always carry my trusty RHA T10i headphones. However, at times their cords do get tangled up and they aren't all that convenient when I'm working out. And I think that my quest to find an acceptable set of wireless headphones uh, may have come to a conclusion. But before we move on, quick look at our sponsor. The Darkbase 900 may be the most innovative case of the year with a built-in Qi charger, interior lighting, tempered glass that can be installed on either side, and a fully modular interior that can be inverted if you so desire. Be quiet. Stepping up their game, check it out in the description below. I'm going to step back two years from now and revisit my first pair of wireless headphones, the Jaybird Blue Buds X. I picked them up from Amazon for a good price and the reviews were quite satisfying too. They sounded great at the time, but eventually after tons of hard use, the ear tips started falling off and sometimes when I'm walking outside on a cold day, wearing a hat on top of these, I've noticed signal disturbances which are kind of annoying and it was obviously time for an upgrade. Say hello to the Jaybird X3 wireless sport headphones. This is a successor to the very popular X2 wireless buds and they retail for $130, which is a $20 cut from the X2 headphones. Thank you, Jaybird. I'm gonna be focusing this review on what Jaybird has improved over two generations because as an X owner of the original Blue Buds X, the X3 looks to be a welcoming upgrade. But does that mean it's time to retire my T10Is or will the X3 be a good complimentary set? You'll get an answer to that question by the end of this video. Jaybird has refined the design of the X3 in a lot of ways. They look sleek and attractive to me. To be specific, they've shrunken the size of the earpiece by almost half when compared to the original Blue Buds X, and that alone should help with a comfortable fit even if you're wearing a helmet or a hat. These headphones will be available in four colors, all of which have metal accents. In the box, you do get three pairs of silicon and three pairs of Comply Premium Foam ear tips varying in sizes. Now, for a more secure fit, they do include three pairs of ear fins, and right off the bat, I noticed a difference in quality compared to the fins from the Blue Buds X. Uh, they are thicker and also have a slight curve at the edge, uh, which did a fantastic job securing the earpiece while I'm wearing them. I would highly recommend you spend some time testing out different sizes of these fins so you can pick the right fit. They also include a carrying pouch for storage. I did my listening test from the ComplyForm ear tips installed and they did an excellent job isolating background noise. Plus, I prefer these over the standard silicon ear tips because when I compress the foam and insert them into my ears, they expand after 15 to 30 seconds and that creates a seal. The version I have here is the blackout edition with silver caps at the end. The other options include Sparta, which is white and gold version, Alpha, that's a military green variant, and finally Road Rash, that's rocking a red and dark chrome color scheme, which is pretty cool. I really appreciate the material choice Jaybird used uh, for the X3 headphones. It's a soft touch rubber finish, which is definitely an improvement over the glossy and slippery material found on the original Blue Buds X. This alone adds grips to the ear fins so they don't start moving around. The sound tubes are made out of a metal frame which adds an extra layer of premium quality compared to the plastic construction found on the Blue Buds X. Plus the extra refinements in the actual tubes should prevent ear tips from falling off. They've also shifted the wireless antenna into the inline volume control bar, whereas on the Blue Buds X, it was located inside one of the earpieces. Uh, this improves a few things. One is obviously the low profile look on the X3's earpiece, and two, it strengthens the signal when you're outdoors, and from my testing, they work great. However, if you want to charge these headphones, you have to use the proprietary charging clip that attaches to the inline volume control bar, and it uses magnetic pins to charge the pair. So if you lose the clip, it's gonna be a challenge to charge these back. Uh, the Blue Buds X accepts any micro USB cable directly into the earpiece, which was a lot more convenient. Jaybird's history on headphones have one thing in common, and that's the user flexibility. You can wear them either in an over-ear style for a snug fit or under-ear style, which is my preferred setting. They do include core clips to shorten the cord, but if you prefer to wear them under-ear, the included shirt clip does do a pretty good job uh, keeping them intact. Just like any Jaybird headphones, the X3 are sweatproof, and throughout my testing, they survive flawlessly even underwater. This is an excellent feature, especially for trainers or even professional athletes who spend the majority of their time outdoors playing sports or working out. 
So how do they sound? I have to admit, they are remarkably better than my Blue Buds X. The 6mm driver outputs great clarity in the high ends, the bass is more pronounced and powerful, plus the sound stage is wider on these compared to the original Blue Buds X. In fact, they outperform my T10i's by a slight margin, uh, and that should be obvious given the terrible DAC inside my Nexus 6P, uh, in this case, my choice of listening device. It makes me realize that wireless audio does have its advantage over regular headphones uh, if you happen to rock a phone with a subpar DAC, uh, or you happen to have a recent Apple phone which doesn't even have a headphone jack. If you want to play around with the sound profile on these headphones, the MySound app available for both Android and iOS lets you fiddle around with different sound presets, Plus, there's a whole community of enthusiasts sharing their uh, custom profiles to the public, which is very thoughtful. I do want to point out that once you create and load the custom sound profile to the headphones, they never get reverted back to the default setting, even if you pair it to a different device, unless if you come back to the app to perform the change. So that should be convenient. Bluetooth is getting smarter these days, and Jaybird has implemented the Bluetooth 4.1 spec on the X3s. This brings a few advantages to the table, and one of them is the ability to pair the X3 uh, up to eight different devices that support Bluetooth. For example, you can have your X3 Buds connected to your laptop and your phone at the same time. This way you can listen to music from your laptop and still answer an incoming call on your phone using the X3 Buds inline remote control. I did experience a few signal cuts when I started playing music at the beginning right after pairing, but after that it was just flawless. The signal was strong outdoors, uh, I even wore a hat on top of these to check the quality and there were absolutely no signal loss. The battery life lasted a little over 7 hours with continuous playback. Mind you, this could vary with temperature change and your surroundings, but overall, I'm very impressed. When you compare Jaybird's new X3 Bluetooth headphones to the original Bluebuds X, there's a lot to like about these, and the Switch uh, feels like an incremental upgrade. Um, you know, things like a low-profile design, softer and comfortable ear fins, along with the inclusion of a comply foam ear tips, uh, better Bluetooth connectivity, and of course, improved sound signature. Um, I'm definitely going to enjoy listening to tunes while I'm filming the studio, working out, commuting, you name it. Um, and for $130, these are well worth the price, uh, especially if you compare it to the absolutely ridiculous price of Apple's AirPods. And holiday season is right around the corner, so if you find these on sale, don't hesitate to pick them up. So that about wraps up my thoughts on the new Jaybird X3 Bluetooth headphones. What are your thoughts about these pair? You know, are there any alternatives that you might be interested in? <clears throat> Please don't say AirPods. I'm Ebro with Hurricane X. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.